What happened to the mammoths? Some say they died in the Ice Age. Some say ice, but I know in all my heart that it is the sapling. But what's bird the discovery of these baby mammoth eating trees? Exhibit A, we have the tree. Now we made, now let's talk about the tree for a second. Here at the top you can see it has leaves, and at the bottom it has the trunk. But where else in nature do we see a trunk? Hmm, maybe the animal kingdom. Let's go see if there's any animals in the animal kingdom that have a trunk. Ah, the platypus, the animal that could. It has a beak, it has claws, it's part beaver, part bird, and its feet has poisons, but some it did not take the trunk. It did not see the efficiency of having a trunk. So we're going to have to look somewhere else to find an animal with a trunk. Ah, giraffe. You, they they just need a ladder. The whole neck thing could be replaced by a ladder. But anyways, we're trying to figure out where the hell where the trunks are, and this doesn't have a trunk at all. Mm-hmm. Then I found the missing link between baby with mammoth eating trees and baby mammoth. The trunk. Do, do you see the trunk? There's got to be some connection between tree trunks and elephant trunks. And I'm here today to explain what the hell happened. Where did the baby mammoth go? By using already established ways of food method, we could accurately guess that baby trees or trees started eating baby mammoths. One day, Ice Age. One day, the baby trees said, like, "God damn, I'm gonna eat that baby mammoth." And that's how it. That's how it, actually how it happened. So the next time you see a sapling, step on it, burn it, bury it, burn it again, because the next time you turn your back for a second on that sapling, and that little bastard eats you and your family.